Today I want to show you how you can configure item access control in Fabric. So why would you have item permission? Well, sometimes you don't need to give a user access to the whole workspace or all items in the workspace. You just want to give them access to a specific item. Before we continue, as always, I'm creating these videos together with Reitze and he's writing blogs about this. And I put the link in the description, make sure to have a look. So I want to provide you an example of why you would use item level permission so it's easier to understand. Let's assume we have a company and there's a data engineer working in Microsoft Fabric. And at the moment they have access to the whole workspace. They have contributor rights. But now the project is finished and they actually only need access to the lake house in there because they still want to read data there. But they don't need contributor access for all the other items. So what we could do is we could give that person for the workspace different access rights than for the item the lake house because in the lake house we still want them to have some rights there how would we do that i will show you that in fabric here we are in fabric and this is my lake house and if i click on these three dots here i can see manage permissions if i click on manage permissions i get this new screen where i see who has access at the moment and that's only me so let's say I want to give the data engineer access. So I would enter the name or email address. And if I now would say grant access, that person would only have few access. So for the data engineer to be able to still read data, I would need to select either read all SQL endpoint data or read all Apache Spark. So now by doing that, that user has access to that lake house on an item level. They don't have automatically access to all the other items in Fabric. And this is very handy because you want people to only give access and especially edit access where you can actually change stuff if they really need it. Otherwise give them few access and use item level permissions to actually give them the access they need 